We're oh, we're early. We're really early. I don't think anyone's waiting. That's okay. Because we're early. They'll see us later. Mm -hmm. ah. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, I don't, no rem, oh, let's scoot over a little bit. There we go. So um, yeah, I'm feeling stuff. good. Good. Feeling good. No, um, you know, no cold, no, mm -hmm. no joint issues. Mm -hmm. I'm all good. Good. Back to doing yoga. Good. Yeah, and we tried out that yoga class last that was week nice. at Callie's really nice. studio. Very nice. It's in this really cool space mm -hmm. above the art house. Mm -hmm. So it's really just like less than a block away from I love going really, into that building. I know. Mm -hmm. It was cool. It's very kind of, it's retro, but they've done a nice job fixing it up. Yeah, I love that aluminum railing. I love the little bulby. It was a great, it's yeah. architecturally Yeah, we thought we were going to be like the only ones in the class for quite a while. And then right at the last minute, like seven people show up. Yeah, that was great. So it was Pretty fun, fun. fun class. Then uh, Mike and I went back to that building on Saturday and saw Civil War, which was like the box office hit this weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's, I've never, it's been a while since I've attended a box office smash weekend movie. <laughs> I'm so with Did they it. just open? Apparently. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, hmm. yep, that's, yep. Um, so that's, fun, art house. Yesterday or Sunday, um, Becky, who works here, Becky and I decided to go to a retirement party for our friend Suzanne. Mm -hmm. And we knew exactly where we were supposed to go. We knew where the, it was at the Yellowstone Winery. If you didn't know, Billings has its own winery. Um, anyway, so we're like heading there, and then I realized we're actually heading to Briarwood, which is where our friend actually lives. I don't know what we were thinking. You didn't know where you were going. <laughs> well, I did. I mean, I knew, but then I thought we were going to Perhaps. like Briarwood or something. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, so then we tried Brain to we turn around and then we realized we turned around right behind a, a Montana Highway Patrol officer. You mean like you did a Yui in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the road? Well, we went, no, we there was like a little turnout, but oh. he was parked right there, but we didn't really notice that until after we were right behind him. I'm like, uh, Becky, we just parked behind a highway patrolman. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> and oh. then she, he gets out and he's like, hey, ladies, uh, everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just don't know where we're at. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> but even so, we got back on the road and still turned the wrong way to get there. It took us a half an hour to get there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I guess you need a driver. <laughs> <laughs> I know Becky was driving, and she did say she has the worst sense of direction. So she was <laughs> trusting me, and I'm like, hmm, not that's sure I'm trustworthy. Funny. but Huh. Well, that's an adventure. <laughs> what was your adventure on Sunday? My adventure on Sunday was to ride my e-bike with my husband 35 total miles in Yellowstone National Park. So they just, like, it's closed to cars. So that's why so, it's kind of so fun with the bike. Yeah, so a lot of the park is closed in the winter time. They plow a Keep couple talking. of main roads, or I don't know which roads they plow exactly, but then they start clearing things to in preparation for opening for summer tourists. And um, the road from Gardner to West Yellowstone is possibly the first one that's kind of opened up. Um, and before it's officially open to um, car traffic, um, they let bikes go on it for maybe one or two weekends. I'm not totally clear about what exactly the time frame is. Are you even listening to this? Yep, I am. <laughs> I just realized I forgot something. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, so we took advantage of that, and it was really, really fun. Um, first of all, the day was gorgeous. Um, it was, I don't know, maybe in the high 50s um, in the park. Um you know, sunshine, a little cloud mix, but, and lots of bikes. It was, it was pretty fun. There was a pretty wide variety of people who were like, you know, gung ho training for something <laughs> <laughs> like with their road bikes and their unitards and <laughs> that situation to, um, you know, to quite a big variety of, of ages doing that. It was, it was really, it was really fun. And we didn't, um, we just saw, we saw a dead skunk and smelled oh. it. Ooh. And we saw a, um, we did see kind of right before we were about to turn around, there was a lone big bison oh. with that classic icon, you know, that iconic Yellowstone with the 
thermal feature, oh, a little wow. snow Did still. you guys take a picture? Yeah, I got some pictures. And then this big old big bison just doing his thing. Well, at least you didn't go up and say hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh, i got to get some pictures. You're a smart and Montana girl. Mike, yeah, exactly. Um, and Mike said, well, don't, don't get too close. So, But anyway, it was, it was really fun. And I was sort of, you know, wondering how I would fare physically. Um, I didn't have any aches and pains while we were... Because this was kind of your big first bike ride This is probably the, the longest season. I've ever ridden on, on a bike, 35 miles. Um, so I, um, I was a little nervous about that. Um, but at the time, I, I mean, I had like a little, like an achy elbow, you know, like aches and pains kind of, but nothing physical that would have been like, oh my, you know, we have How to long does it take for 35 miles? <sighs> we were on the bikes for probably about four and a half hours. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a lot. So, and there was quite a bit of elevation gain. Uh -huh. Um, Mike tracked it. I can't remember what it was. Um, and then, yeah, com because coming back. Is it downhill? Coming back was more downhill than going out, and actually they had signs, you know, for they're like six percent grade downhill grade. Oh wow! Well, uh, in a couple of that's spots. where I think I'd be on the bike, I'd put my legs oh. out, <laughs> just but like, that was too fast. So then I'm like right. squeezing the brakes, and right. anyway, um, but it was it was fun, and then so in the evening. I, I don't know. I need to rearrange my ottoman, I think. I was sitting kind of sad. And it was kind of weird, too, the way I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm just going to be exhausted. I didn't sleep great that night. I don't know if mm -hmm. it was, like, overstimulated, too Maybe. much activity. <laughs> Last night, I slept like a log. Um, but I had a little bit of an achy knee. Like behind your knee? Kind of, you know, a little bit. And Mike's like, you need to strengthen it some more. Anyway, so I, I know that two years ago, I would not have been able to do this. Right. Um, so I'm definitely You're getting stronger. Out is good. Um, I was a little, um, anyway, I, I need to maybe pay attention to how I like recover from stuff like that in the future if I do it again, um, or anything like it. And then, um, my, my butt's a little sore just from like the bike thing. So I don't know how to avoid that. Well, it's not, it's good. It's a good hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> Sitting down to go to the bathroom and you're sore, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like no, they talk about, I mean, I think a lot of, a lot. Of, I'm, I'm not going to call myself a cyclist, but you know, so anyway. Is that like the me saddle. saying, I'm not going to call myself a crocheter? <laughs> <laughs> I've I tried it, but. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm, I'm like, I don't know, it's fun, it was fun, and I'm, it was fun. Yeah, I feel like. I have a, gr I do have a great bike seat, um. Thanks to my husband, oh. he, but but I, I still think there's room for improvement in the whole bike short situation for women or just general padded. I mean, I have a, I have a padded shorts, but I think I need better. Uh huh. I'm doing a little research Thicker. there. Just add a few more sanitary pads. No yuck. <laughs> no, you have to think about chafing. I know. I know. <laughs> I've I've I used to do spinning classes all the time. Uh huh. Did um, you have bike shorts? Uh huh. Yeah, I had mm -hmm. it all. I had the clip-in shoes. Oh everything. my god. Yeah. What happened to those? Well, I just I don't <laughs> I don't do it anymore because I like I feel like I didn't see any change in oh, my really? body and mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And I did it like twice a week. Wow. For quite a, while, a long time wow. with Lindsay yeah. at the Y. Lindsay's great. Is she still at the Y? Pro I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Hmm. Fun. <clears throat> okay, well, we well, have sort of a plan well, today. Uh, we do kind of have a plan, and part of the plan is an introduction. So, okay. I'm Linda. I'm Sue. And we are the Yarn Bar in Billings, mm -hmm. Montana. We are the proprietors yes. of the, the Yarn Bar. Yes, we are. Make no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> in case you don't know, Right. I'm, most of the time, I feel like we're talking to our regulars. Yeah, but so, I but, but I do know someone there are new. people out there that that kind of surf. The, I, yeah, because surf it, I think the, we've been su suggested to like a really? couple people that we've heard from. So surf the yarn YouTube yeah. channels. Yeah, the they're out YouTubers. there. We see them. We're not the only ones from a shop who's doing this. So mm -hmm. it's, we're just not like regular old knitters we're special knitters <laughs> right we are yeah. yes we've been knitting for if we had to add up the years hmm. i've been knitting for almost as long as i've been married so it was 40 years last year 
I've been knitting for almost almost 20 years. So there you go. Mm -hmm. 60 years of knitting experience. Right. I fielded right a here. phone call yesterday from a gal in Missoula who just having called issue. Pro. Yeah, mm -hmm. to work through a pattern. Had she so contact the pattern contacted the she designer? She had many times and has not received a oh. good response. Mm. So we're not going to recommend this pattern. No, no, I wouldn't recommend yeah. the pattern, and I don't think this gal would either. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really I do I do like a little challenge. So if anybody does have an issue with a project, Ooh. I'm up for it. Okay. Um. So, what? Okay. What's this empty thing right here in front you, of you? Well, we've got a thing that we, we have to talk have... about. Do we have to do this? Well, I didn't know where you had that in here. We actually made a a plan. See, <laughs> we found a podcast planner. Hoping this is the first week. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Right. Yeah. So, um, well, new stuff. So that falls into new stuff. That's what we're talking about now. Where's the thing where we talk about what we're wearing? Mm. Hmm. Not there. Oh, okay. Oh, but okay. Well, well I'm wearing binoculars. You're wearing the stripey. Stripes! Exclamation point. Oh, I like stripey. From Andrea Maury. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. So that's that. New fun stuff. Yep. Okay. We'll, we'll do this first. So, okay. So you can move So that. last week we talked about our cool wool pellets that are coming from Ranching Tradition Fiber way over, not way over, but just down the road about uh, three hours <laughs> to kind of by Kind of by Butte. Between. Getting to Butte. Yeah, getting closer to Butte. So um, these are wool pellets. They are, um, they help with water retention in your garden or in your soil. It's a fertilizer. And it's a fertilizer because it is actual dirty wool. Yeah. And um, Cammie and her husband have a wool pellet machine. And so there's these cute little things. They do kind of smell like a barn. Yeah. But that's it's not, okay. It's, I don't think it's offensive. Like, no. I don't, I don't think it smells like poo. No. It smells like Wool. It smells like an animal. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, and we, so Cammy was uh, heading this way or a little further beyond us yesterday and said, and we had an order pending and she said, do you want me to just drop off, you know, your order? And we said, sure. And let's change it from these one pound bags to a five gallon bucket with a lid on it. Um, so now you can come in and use this scoop and buy it by the scoop. And so how cool is that for our good old environment? Um, bring a container if you want. Otherwise, we can, you know, round up something to put your scoop in. Um, we have a few of these one-pound bags left. Like, if you wanted to mail these to someone, I know a couple people yeah. have sent them off to their kids. Um, but anyway, five pound. You can get a scoop. You can buy it by the scoop. We've got it. You can buy um, the five-gallon jug if you really want to. Oh yeah, you could. We're happy to sell um, it. But anyway, so that's here. Just came yesterday. Um, anyway, fun. We'll yep. put it in the email or something too. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. Other new so fun stuff. So because we just love fun little things and we know how much you love the, um, point protectors, the counter of death as it's been called, where mm -hmm. we try to keep all of our fun little things. We got some super fun little, um, point protectors. Those are Some super are fun. one of the kinds. I mean, for this the This one shop. I think is pretty popular. The cute little avocados. Yeah. But look at this. It's a little record play yours. Look, fun rainbows. Turntables. Um, cool. See. Chemistry. Oh, the one that we already sold yesterday. Where's the... We the, sold one yesterday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. I love this I think they pink. bought a couple. Where's the F-bomb? <laughs> oh, the F-bomb We should have had another somewhere. one. Anyway, yeah. Pickles. It's like a bomb with the letter F on it. Um, um, yes, I am that. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's some really fun ones. Oh, oh look, I love tacos. the tacos. Anything with a oh, smiley face. There you go. Hilarious. So if, if you see one that you like, call us because they're not on a website. <gasps> Peanut butter and jelly. Because they're all so different. It's smileys. There's too Ooh, many. Lego. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, these are super fun. And um, one of our gals that's at one of our groups, she, was, she has a fun one that she's been using. I thought that's pretty fun. This, at first I thought was like an old avocado, but it's not. It's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what a, that's what a new avocado will look like in a little while. Right. Um, a glampers, little campers. Cute. Yeah, yeah these so, are fun. So these are fun. These are here. If you need us to, if you want to place a, an order, just 
at, let us know and we'll pop one in okay. with your regular. And then, um, what's, hey, Whoa. this box will change your life. That's right. It will change Whoa, your life. Whoa, what is it? Well, I'll tell you. This is the new and improved knit kit. So knit they're and calling crochet it knit kit. and crochet kit. Mm -hmm. Because really crocheters, all these things crocheters can use too, so it doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. But this is from our friend Katie. And so it's sort of like a leather man for your for you instead of it well, holds all your right. tools got in everything. one place, so you don't have to hunt and find and I all the things. I actually made a great video like years and years ago. Oh yeah, you demoed about it. it. Mm -hmm. I did. So okay, so there is a repair hook. For, mm -hmm. Okay, there is a cable needle. There is a tape measure. A tape measure. There's the roll counters. Now these are um, really, I think you you can manage. I think two different things in your power. Right. So you've two got these counts. two and then this one will be a different count but, or you can manage a 300, you know, 300 <laughs> stitches. Whoa. Whoa! And then on the back is the needle sizer or hook sizer. Mm -hmm. It works for hooks too. So we've got that. Really sturdy too and it fits nice in your hand. Mm, compact scissors. TSA foldable. approved I might yeah. add. Yep. You can take those on the airplane. All kinds of and little And then doodads. there is, um, oh gosh, this one has two wonder Ooh, how that happened. Nice, Ooh. nice. We better check one needles. of the other ones. Um, mm. Darning needles, that's mm -hmm. in there. Some cute little point protectors. Very fun. Okay, and then lots of stitch markers. So we kind of like, um, we sort of... She's got some different designs too. Looked you at all the different choose. stuff that you have here. And honestly, with the three different... Uh, with the two, with the row counters, which is actually like mm -hmm. two row counters, we should add that in because we added up all the things that are in here. That if you bought them separately, seriously, it would probably be about eighty to ninety dollars. No, it was like sixty seven. No, but I just realized oh, you've got container. two row counter, two row counters. Oh. So if we added another row counter, right? Seriously, you, that's plus about a, eighty dollars plus a container. You've got right. a, you've got to factor that right. in too. Right. Right. So, so yeah, it is actually a good deal. It really is. Um, but and, uh, um, there's only one darning needle in this okay, one. Okay, well so we might need to check maybe a few. She, um, so maybe someone she gets has a bonus. lots of different, none of them are really the same. Um, you might get some same outside colors, but the picture on the middle are all different. Mm -hmm. And it just fits, like this little bear paw that fits in your hand. And it's cute. Put it in your bag for traveling. Like this would be perfect for me to take to Australia. Because I, you know... Sorry, that's not what happened. My phone was oh, ringing. Oh, oh. So anyway, I think everyone really needs one of this these. This box will change your life. Yes. Yeah, so you might want to keep the box too, because it <laughs> might still change your life afterwards. <laughs> oh, so yeah, funny. we love these, and um, we got a funny. Was that funny? Remember when we got like we were ordering? Um, actually, we're ordering pen oh, pencils. Our new pencils. And um, the gal we were working with just like, you know, sent her this little email and she all she just replied, How many? Like she had it all like, in caps. caps. How many? That's <laughs> like, the funniest thing. Now, now we this have to say box that. will change your life. <laughs> all caps. <laughs> How many? <laughs> yeah, so that's our little running joke. Yeah, it is. Um, the we other think it's new, funny. We think it's funny, but you know, maybe not everyone does. <laughs> Um, the other new thing that just landed yesterday is Island Vibes. We did talk about this. Give people a yes, preview last we did. week. Such a fun format of a book. Yeah, a little, I like the little one. You can love fit it in the your color. Bag. It's not heavy. It can go in with you. this box. Will I change know. your life. <laughs> um, really, really beautiful as always. Photographs from the Lina team. Um, awesome patterns. And I am in love with witch sweater. What about that dress? I That's know, cute. but I'm not going to knit myself a dress. No. But um, we know a few people that have, so... Liz thought this was yep, especially she thought beautiful. That, was that cute. That little cami. It's like four different colors. Um, okay. This is adorable. We talked about this last oh, yeah. week in regards to you, shirties a couple That's of, coming up. A, how about this, like, whole family situation? Yeah, that's, that's cute. That's cute. Everybody needs a sweater. That's really And cute. they use that mesh sweater for everybody. I know. How fun. Huh. There's Linda's yeah. favorite. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. I'm thinking these colors, actually. What do you guys think? Thumbs up, I thumbs think, down. I think it'd be really cute. 
It would be cute. Um, on very, that sweater. It's, very I summery. looked at the pattern. It's um, knit side to side, mm -hmm. side to side. So it's like this. Um, so in this one, probably my row gauge would be more important than my stitch gauge. But I think my stitch, it's one of those patterns where they're both important. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I looked up the pattern. I think it would be a fun little pattern to make. I do, I do too. I think um, a lot of these would be really fun. Um, so anyway, that's here. That's fun. I think that's it for, we've got some fun new stickers too that, um, you know, I'm uh, not, we're oh not yeah. gonna, we I have a we reel a up reel. on our Instagram mm -hmm. and we got a fun little, um, magnet. So might be a giveaway with those oh, shirties. Right. Up. Okay. So <clears throat> We're, we can, we're should checking we cross off this the off? List. Woo, okay. All right, that's fine. Well, we didn't talk okay. about our works in progress, so let's talk oh, about whoops. that. I'm going to talk about <laughs> mine first, okay? Okay. Oh, oh, I think I just lost an arm. <laughs> He's okay. right there. That's one arm. I've got two. That's what's on the floor. Oh. All right, so um, <laughs> this little kit is so cute. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I can't call myself a crocheter. Uh, I think you are. But... After I did my granny square thing, I have a lot more confidence, crochet confidence. And so when Silas said, Nana, he's can, like, I know you can't you make, make this. <laughs> he probably did. He did say, you're not good enough to make this. He did say mm -hmm. that, didn't he? Well, I'm out to prove him wrong. <laughs> so anyway, this is on the sales section. Really? Yeah. Wow. And so here's my start. Look. It looks, <laughs> Sue, shut up. Okay. <laughs> Here is my start. Yeah. And um, I've got little arms. You did a great job on that head. I did do a good job on the head. Stop, you little whatever you are. I'm sorry. So, it looks, it, yeah. Stop it. It's, it's little it's arms. It's phallic little... looking. I have to give this to my grandson. You Stop it. Know that. Anyway, I've got the two arms. I just have to do the legs and a tail. Okay, well then it'll probably look more like a dinosaur. I think I think it will. Okay, good. I think it will. Anyway, they're pretty fun and like I said, I am not a good uh, crocheter really. Uh, but this was level two, which on oh. the scale of these is slightly harder than like the bunny mm -hmm. rabbit. Okay. So um, <clears throat> now I'm thinking we need to get some more. Really? Yep. Yeah, they're cute. Now that I know how to do mm -hmm. it. Are they like the woobles or whatever those things are? Maybe, but they're, yeah, they're on, they're just on a slightly higher level, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the packaging is quite yeah, lovely. And actually it comes with everything. So oh, this look. is a crochet hook. Yep, it comes with the hook, huh. which is a nice hook, I've noticed. It comes with the yarn. This will change your life. Yes. <laughs> Has the stuffing and a little black thread for his eyes. Mm-hmm. So, and all the instructions, although I've noticed that some, the, that she's got lots of video links, mm -hmm. like, and I went to them and I, I can't find anything specifically for the legs so I'm going to have to maybe ask Alyssa about it. Okay. She yeah, Alyssa know. likes to do yeah. those mm -hmm. amigurumis. Okay. So fun. on sale you guys. Yeah, we just so have one it's 26.99 and it's 30% off. Whoa. Is that one? Very okay. fun. All right. We've got another Your sale turn. item here. I'm going to segue to sale. Okay. This is a fun little sale find, really and truly. One of these bagu bags. This is dead stock. That's what they call it. It's the fabric. They use all fab leftover fabric. It may not be enough to make like a whole bag. And actually the line. Oh, cool. So, dead stock. Yeah. That's, and that's then like if you look stuff. inside, like way inside, the seam seaming the seaming, fabric yeah, is kind of cool um, too. So it's I I recognize that fabric of yours. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, yeah I so, think that's a fun pop in there. And so like for anybody really. You don't even have to put knitting in it. It'd be a great tote bag, and you can wear oh, it yeah. as a crossbody. And uh, yeah, it's yeah. Great. So thirty percent off. This is the horizontal duck bag. Um, I think it's really fun. It's been kind of hanging out over there. So last time we did this little, you know, hey, what's in the sales section? We got some people coming in, and that I know. seemed to work. So we're gonna try that again. Yeah. Um. Okay. So okay. So you need to talk about your okay. old jazzy. Or right. We could talk about the other bag since we were talking about bags. Well, it's not on sale, though. <coughs> no, not on sale. Okay. We're going to jump back to the agenda. So this is the Aranami Shawl by Olga Jazzy. Um, and I am using a chic blend from Lana Vendelay. 
Yeah, and it is taking shape. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, you, it, I love mm -hmm. the thing I love about little short rows and stuff. I feel like everything grows so fast. Uh, yeah, it's not in short my rows opinion, yet. but it's little it modular triangles, and um, there's quite a few. I worked on some end weaving last night, so. Um, I are you plan, adding another color or is that it? I'm ready for my next color. Okay. And then I believe I might call it quits on this and uh, just make it a little neck neck kerchief or a cute little head thing. Bridge. <laughs> it's like coming back. Not the way you're wearing it. <laughs> I just need a 1955 convertible. You need a little tie. Can you just tie your strings <laughs> under your chin? So, well, okay. So anyway, it might not be that, but I think it'll just be a little neck, um, neck scarf. Um, unless I like have nothing else to do and I could maybe pick it up again if I wanted to. We'll see what it looks like. My plan, I'm trying to copy the um, lovely lady who owns Brooklyn General in New York. Okay. And she just did three tiers. Uh, and she made a scarf or she, a kerchief. Um, she did. It was like a neck thing, but she also featured it on her head as a scarf. So Differently than what you did? I don't know. I'll have to pull <laughs> it up and look. Um, I think I might be able to pull it off. I don't know. It's Well, Erin was wearing one. And she's young and hip. Erin mm -hmm. is young and hip. Gosh, and there could be the difference I right know. there. <laughs> I know. I'm trying. I'm trying all the time. Okay. Um, okay, young and hip. This is funny. Stop. I just happened across this video where they were they took a Ken doll and they decided to make him into a hipster Ken doll. They actually like cut off his top of his head mm -hmm. and filled it with glue and then added hair. And then they put hair here and here, <laughs> like and they added like clay to his chest to make it look like he had a six pack. And then they clean cleaned up the beard, cut the hair into like the little ponytail. <laughs> That's a lot. That's it's a lot, a lot for a poor Ken. I think yeah. Well, they should just go watch Ryan Gosling be Ken. I know every mm -hmm. time he's on TV. Mm hmm. Mr. Hipster. I know. Okay. Did you want to talk about this? Yes, let's talk about this because we went, we wanted to talk about this last week and we forgot. So right. these are our new barista bags. Here. Um, these are to celebrate Earth Day, which is this weekend. Um, and we are um, encouraging people to reuse bags instead of always, you know, always getting new bags. Um, so this has a front and a back. It's pretty cute. It is reusable, obviously, and we will, you have to buy it, but then you will get a dollar off every time you use it in the store until next April. When we introduce something different. So, Either we'll um, like renew it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So or, anyway, yeah. yeah, I, 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 I know paper bags, you know, they, they are a they're, They're better than plastic. We've got to have them. Like right. we looked up cotton versus paper, or whatever, and plastic. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's every time I hand over a bag, I know it's probably going to be in the trash pretty soon, and so that's why we thought something like this. And it also has an actual instruction on here, so it's not it's something that's a total throwaway. Mm -hmm. It's not just our our logo. It actually has a message that you can use to help save you know, things that are already yeah, in reuse. your closet. Mm -hmm. um, Cause you know, I've had to fix quite a few things. So um, anyway, so I think it's a good deal and I'd love for you guys to have one. And we so, got this idea from Carrie Jensen over at um, the yeah. Yarn Shop in Great Falls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's doing that and we, one of her customers was telling us about it. It's, right. And we talked to Carrie too. It's a good idea. We yeah. like it. So, okay. Those you can actually buy on the website too. Mm. So, okay. Just so you know. Okay. All so. right. Now, on to the main mm. event. Next. First of all, we are start. we want everyone to start thinking about shirties. So, what is mm -hmm. shirties? Shirties is a t shirt knit along, basically. You get to pick any pattern you want. Um, you register with us. You get a 10% discount on your yarn. You will be um, entered into our voting. 
platform and then if you win your category so there's different categories like lace you know shorts or whatever mm -hmm. anyway um you could win a $25 gift card for your category. And believe me, I mean, there's some mm -hmm. serious um, contenders. They, we get a lot of people I feel doing like shirties might be our most popular I do, one. too. I do think that because it's not as big as a regular sweater, mm -hmm. and um, not everybody's a sock knitter. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And we'll talk about socks in a minute. Yeah, we will. But we have got a new idea for you it's a brand new sample for the mm -hmm. shop we're totally in love with it so we, we just want to we over the next however long we'll give you some ideas for um, t-shirts as they come along right to our brains or to our shop yep um so that's what we're doing right now and so, so you yeah you can find your own pattern but here's some ideas actually, you can welcome to use <clears throat> Sue and I, we both want it. We can picture it's so it with pretty. some white linen pants. It's got drape like you can't believe. I thought we were taking this yeah, off. Yeah, okay. 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 This prom dress is circa hmm, 2017. No, not 19. <laughs> Maybe 2017. Not that old. <laughs> my daughter's. I don't okay. think she can wear it anymore. This is called, this is a crocheted top. It's so pretty. Um, and the crocheter was Jennifer. Jen. Our fabulous and crochet teacher. She actually really liked it. Um, so here's the front. So this is called the arcade stitch top. So pretty. And it's Look at um, the scallop. It is just gorgeous. It's made in two pieces. We hope you're all ooing and awing yeah, about because this. Because if you could see this in person, we know you would. It's just such an easy Look at how wear. pretty that little seam is. Yeah. I know it, the whole thing. And then look at the back. Okay. The back has this beautiful detail. Just a little a little, a little gather. A little gathering. Very, very pretty. It's just so elegant. Mm -hmm. um, the drape, because of the linen, is... And I will say, um, you know, Jen wasn't, like, jumping <laughs> all over it when I found it because it is out of a linen. It's a, it's a pretty lightweight linen. But she said as she was working with it, her she changed her mind. Um, she loved working with it. It's a four-stitch pattern, a f uh, four-row pattern. So she said she never got bored. Um, it's and really, then it's been blocked. It's pretty stunning, um, I would say. As pieces and then blocked again um, afterwards. It's just gorgeous. I think it would be uh, something that you would see in, well, a high-end boutique. Um, for sure. Or I, I think, you know, maybe a limited quantities like at Anthropology. I don't think they do huge runs of some uh -huh. things. Um, it is, it is really, and really pretty. And this is, I I'm feel like it it's a, a little long for me, but there's no reason why it can't be shorter. I don't know. I don't think there's as much shaping as it might appear to be. It I starts think, from the bottom, right? Yes. No, where's yeah, the top? No, it starts from the bottom. Okay. It does, yeah. And the dress that she did also starts from the bottom. And so... Um, what is, so what is this called? It's called the Arcade Stitch Top. Okay. I don't... Um, oh, wait. I've got another picture of it Who's here. Who's the designer? The designer is Carmen Reza. Hmm. And this is another picture of that, which I just... This is the picture that, you know, we said, oh, my gosh, that is so cute. So it's so a little shorter that. on that girl. And um, so the yarn, she does call for a linen. This is what we used. Um, this is fresh print by Lana Gatto, and it is kind of a printed linen. So we thought um, that's what it's made out of. And then we also thought Sparrow. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, you. Mm. So, um, and we have enough of, of this yarn, Beautiful too, for green. that. Yeah, I mean, the weight, it, the drape, it's just, it's Brown. totally worth making. So, yeah, it is. And really I have nice. a feeling, Jen, when she gets back, there might be a little class on technique mm, little for that because of the gathers and just the basic stitch and stuff. I mm -hmm. think, I think you would appreciate that. So it's Whoever's really, really there. pretty. Um, so that is here, uh, that, you know, do it for shirties if you want to. It's really, really beautiful. Okay, we love um, it. The next um, tea that we thought might be a good one. This is called the Skyline Tea. It's by Tori Yu. 
Wait, all we're seeing is her. Oh, sorry. There's so, some nice detail on the shoulder. Mm hmm cute. Um, Last week we showed um, her little raglan that had the little eyelet detail or stitch work detail, like baseball sleeves for raglan. Um, that's the same designer. This is new, um, I think, last week what was from the her. Same, what was the same design? The, the one we talked about last week. Oh, right. I couldn't right. remember her right. name. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember the name of that shirt right now, but that's cute. Um, yeah, if you can't see, there's some nice uh, detailing on the shoulders. It's like a saddle shoulder construction. Yeah, it's it's cute. cute. And then just top down in the round. Easy to wear. Really, really. cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I have... I mean, if you have, like, really broad shoulders, that's probably not the right look, right? Maybe not. Okay. It might not be the one and I don't for, have really broad like, shoulders, Becky. so I could do that. She has broad shoulders. Because that, yeah. She likes a raglan, I yeah. think. Yeah, okay. So this is a fingering sport, so it could totally be out of a cotton, mm -hmm. or it could be out of a fingering. Hand-dyed fingering wool, yeah. mm -hmm. lightweight. So I, there's just so many options, and right now mm -hmm. we have... I can't even tell you how many mm -hmm. options, good options we have. Yeah, we do, and some mm -hmm. are like colored and striping and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that one's the salmon, 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 the salmon sat, sat number twenty-four by Elizabeth Judith. And we did look Brand up new. that word. It means composition. And all of a lot of her patterns are called salmon sat, and then a number. So this is number twenty-four. I think it just came out like yesterday or the day before. It's super cute. And um, you can probably get it at discount right now on Ravelry. I saw. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we looked at all the projects. They cute. all looked good. It's so a cute top. That's always a good cue. Um, so when you look at patterns on Ravelry, check out the projects because you'll see if it's translated well. You yeah, know, I, and, keep, um, I want to look at that. If That's there's gorgeous. issues with the pattern and stuff like that. So we That's love that. Cute. I think we're going to see quite a few kind of new release releases for summer tops, like from now, you know, now on. Right. Um, so, but here's one that just came out. It's very cute. This one uh, we just buy too. It's called the Summer Vacation Top, and it's really more of a tank. So it's um, and actually a bulky needles. cotton. Mm hmm. Isn't that nice? Bud so would be pretty. this could be uh, knit a few times for you and your friends. Yeah, <laughs> that'd take you a minute. Yeah, yep. that's by Jessica Reeves, and I'm calling it the Summer Vacay Top. Yeah, I don't okay. think that's a brand new pattern, but we just, I mean, I don't it's know, new to us. But it's new to us, Cute. yeah. Okay. Um, oh, the next one, do I have this one? I wrote it down. Tansy Tank? Oh, this is the Tansy Tank. This is by Amanda Plummer. Al Alicia Plummer. Yeah, Alicia mm -hmm. Plummer, yeah. So this is kind of cute. It's it very cute. It hardly takes any yardage. No. Well, it doesn't look like it. You might need a little bit more if you want it to be longer, but it'd be a great layering um, mm -hmm. tank. It's cute. Yeah. So Size 10 needle. Yep. Goes quick. Very cute. And she's using, um, like if you used two fingerings together mm -hmm. or one, like, DK worsted. We thought or maybe Kestrel by itself. One, I think yeah, she might have done Kestrel, Kestrel by itself. That'd yeah. be really pretty. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Mm -hmm. I have Kestrel and by itself. And on that tan, here. that's going to be a little less open, really, so that's good. I have Kestrel by itself here, kind of a similar construction with those yarn overs. Um, I love it. It's great, great. Okay, stuff. so that's Mira. Okay, so here is my Mira top that I did several years ago, and I used Kestrel. And I believe that's what the pattern calls for, and I wear it a lot. I like it. And we have a customer who just does not really like to follow patterns. Mm -hmm. If she likes a basic uh, shape, she'll use it, but she'll take the numbers, and then she'll just do her own well, thing. Well, I'm not sure that's totally... I mean, she likes to modify or do right, her own thing. Right, right. I think she might have knit herself one of these kestrels, and then she said, hey, I'm going to use those numbers. And kind of use some stash. some stash. So she did this really fun rendition. I mm -hmm. think she still used some stitch work from that, but she used lots of different it's um, cute. cottons and, and, you know, just some this fun... This is some yarn that we had... Yeah, that ends years up really ago. cool. It was on the cone. That was really yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. So a cotton linen. So don't be af It's really more of a mm -hmm. lesson. Don't be afraid to try your own thing. 
if you like the shape of something, mm -hmm. use it and then use your own creativity to kind of do it. And I think um, that's we, darling. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. cute and cute, cute on. I'm sure. So. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah, thanks, Doris, for learning yeah. us that. That's very, very cute. Okay. Well, speaking of modifications, I want to bring this up. Okay. So you might recognize this gal. <laughs> This is in her younger. younger years, 2016. Oh wow! I realized. Wow. So this is Sue, and she is wearing what is called the Cancun, mm -hmm. and I've made this. A lot of people have. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple pattern. Um, the gal that designed it, if she just gives you some basic stitches, and then you just do a gauge swatch and pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, kind of make your own and this was out of a really nice like sport weight cotton mm -hmm. so the, I if anybody wants to do this this would be a great option too Cancun for sure is fun. yeah yeah it's, it's really just two fun. rectangles yep mm -hmm. and that's it there's no shaping involved at which all which is kind of I, no Mira is done in the round so anyway. right right um the other one that just came back um was this is the cozy classic raglan light I knit this last summer and I sent it to my daughter and I said, hey, could you send that back because we're getting a trunk show from Emma's Yarn in um, for local yarn store day and I want to have this on hand to show people. Emma's? Yeah. Right here. Cozy yep. Classic Raglan Light from Jessie Maid. Um, it was fun. It's a great way to play with color, um, do some striping if you want to. All the things, um, a nice simple tee. So, I think we've got lots of, yep. yeah, we can give you guys we're ideas like forever. We're way over time, but, mm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. we're, and we started, started early, early, you guys. Early. Crazy. We could talk as long as the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, do, I, I, think. I think we could. Holy cow. So, no, wait, um, don't pull them I'm out. not. I'm just putting my hands in because it feels so Ooh, good. Look. Soxy deadline is Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. And we're starting, we're just getting lots and lots mm -hmm. of them in. I know we'll get some more in. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. So, um. Probably, I better get working on those photos. We got a photo. We got to get ready for the voting. So, and yeah. Thanks, everyone, for participating. Yep. So, um, um, we just love you, all you. of our... We love you all. All of our watchers. And tell yeah. your friends to subscribe and, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. So, yeah. okay. we'll talk to you next week. Yes. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine right now. And um, we'll see you soon. Soxies, if you've got them on your needles, it's time to get them off. <laughs> I, I always do that little finger oh. thing there. <laughs> Bye.